Imagine you are with the people you enjoy being with. You're in your favorite place. You're having fun. You're smiling. You're feeling fulfilled and satisfied. And you have balance in your life. Balance in your life. What does it mean? And how can you achieve that? That's what this video is all about. My name is Rachel Smets, if you don't know me, and I live a freedom lifestyle and I want to help you live a freedom lifestyle as well. So if you like my videos, please, please, please subscribe to my channel right below. So balance in life. What does balance mean? We all heard about body mind connection, right? Oh yeah, body and mind, it's connected. So I want to talk about this body, mind, and I want to add a third one, emotions. So body, emotions, and mind. And then you can achieve balance in your life. So walk with me through these three key elements, okay? Body and mind, body and mind, it is connected. But what does it really mean? It means that in order to be physically healthy, you need to be mentally healthy. In order to be mentally healthy, you need to be physically healthy, right? So be aware of that, that connection. Be aware of that. That's step number one. The awareness that body and mind are connected. You cannot separate it. How do you feed that body and mind? Well, food, nutrition. Good food, good body, good brain. Junk food, junk body, junk brain. And then there is exercise. Get your heart pumping. Take the stairs once in a while. Get your blood pumping, get your body moving. Get oxygen into your blood, into your brain. And then sleep. People really underestimate the power of sleep. Rest your body and your mind. Are you giving it enough rest? Deepak Chopra says, sleep is the miracle drug to reset your body and mind. I mean, without enough sleep, there is no diet that will make you thin. Without enough sleep, there is no exercise program that will make you fit. Without sleep, there is nothing you will be able to do when you're really stressed and you want to stay calm. So sleep is really important. And I want to mention emotions, right? Emotions, energy in motion. Energy is everything. Everything is energy. Emotions are, you know, things like sad, happy, angry, all of these emotions. And you know, these things like, oh, I was choked under pressure or, ah, I, um, I just, I had a, a stone in my stomach, a knot in my stomach. Some people say it differently. It's, it's really to show you the connection between your emotions and your body. Your emotions are connected to your body, not just through these sayings, but happiness, sadness, angry, anxious, fear. You know how it is when you think, oh, I had a splitting headache because I'm so worried or I didn't sleep. Or, um, oh, I'm, I'm really, really scared. And then, and then you just feel it in your stomach and your whole digestive system is, is just upset. It shows you how your emotions create these physical reactions, right? So emotions and body, energy in motion. And energy is also the people you surround yourself with. Are you surrounded by people that lift you up, that lift your mood, that give you energy? Or are you surrounded by those people that drain you and that just ask you questions and that you feel like, oh, you feel exhausted when you talk to them? So pay attention to your emotions. Pay attention to the energy that you feel inside your body. Do you want to spend more time with this person? Then do it. Do you want to run away? Then do it. Just pay attention to your level of energy. I used to people please all the time and have people drain my energy and I wasn't myself until I learned to take care of myself, to listen to my emotions, my body, my feelings and think, okay, this person is lifting me up and giving me motivation and energy and this person not and I try to be selective and that's why I made the video about select your tribe and find your tribe because it's important for your emotions, for your emotional health and your physical health. 
And last but not least, the mind. Remember, said body, emotions, and mind. Your mind is everything. Your thoughts create your reality. What you live here will become your reality. It is so important to be aware of your thoughts and what goes on here. What stories are you telling yourself? Is it negative? Is it positive? I can't do that. I'm not good enough. Stop it and think, yeah, I can do that. I will. And I will talk to somebody and I will achieve it. Think about your goal. Are you saying I can't or I will? I'm no good enough. I'm awesome. What stories are you telling yourself? What is stopping you? It's probably your thoughts. And with 80,000 thoughts in a day, I can understand. It's human. But don't stick in the negative thoughts. Turn them around. And it takes practice. It's like a muscle. Like you go to the gym once and you come out with a healthy and fit and strong muscle body. No, you go back and you train and you train and you train your brain. But your mind is everything. So stop those negative thoughts. Turn them around into positive thoughts. So balance. How can you achieve balance in your life when those three areas are connected? Your body, your emotions, and your mind. And I want you to focus on those three areas. Focus on yourself. Invest in yourself. Take, be aware of that connection. I find balance in my life because I travel the world and I meet new people and I I create those connections and I'm, I'm focused on those three areas all the time. And I live the life of my dreams and I feel in balance and I want you to feel in balance as well. So remember Einstein's quote who said, life is like riding a bike. You have to keep moving to find your balance. Now you don't have to literally be moving to another country like I do, but find your balance, keep moving, take action and create your balance in life. It's all I want for you to live your freedom lifestyle. And that's what all my videos are about. So let me know in the comments, what does balance mean to you? Let me know, comment below and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.